An exceptionally strong field, the best older pacing mares in North America lined up behind the gate for the classic distaff. They're approaching the start. And they're off Hawaiian Flash from the outside holding court. Also hustling away. Ramalet Hanover is away well. Virginia Dare protects the inside post. She'll land a spot early. And yes, it's true, follows her up. Popcorn Penny is now sixth on the outside. Eternal Cam Nation tracks her cover from seventh. Eighth is Walk on the Beach. Have no secrets being chased early from ninth position. Racing in tenth as they move around the turn. Magical Pride. Sanibel Island came away 11th. Opening quarter was a wicked 20. Five and four, a hot front panel here. Gap back in 12th is reimbursed and mercy, mercy, mercy. 13th and last on the outside. Everyone jockeying for position in the cover flow as Hawaiian Flash tries to back it down with holding court right there in the pocket. And Brennan wheels Virginia Dare to the outside first over. Ramalat Hanover fourth. Popcorn Penny now second over. She's getting carried into the action. And Eternal Cam Nation follows her in a good spot. Third over in the live cover flow. The half and 54 seconds flat. Yes, it's true is buried in traffic right now. She's pinned on the pylons from 7th. Racing 4th over on the outside. Walk on the beach. Ninth on the inside is Magical Pride. Have no secrets 10th. She's 5th over Sanibel Island. Forced into a 3 wide move from 11th position. Then it's reimbursed and mercy, mercy, mercy as they pace past the 3 quarter marker in 1.22 and 2. Hawaiian Flash trying to hold the lead. Eternal Kim Nation kicks off cover and she is charging hard for Ledford on the outside. Eternal Cam Nation paces past to the lead. Hawaiian Flash could not go with her. Walk on the beach third. Holding court is racing in fourth, but it is Eternal Cam Nation, and she is powering away. Eternal Cam Nation, an impressive winner here in 150 flat. Holding court was second, tight for third. And returning to the winner's circle is number 10, Eternal Cam Nation. A four-year-old daughter of the late Cam fella out of the Nihilator Mare Cool World, owned by the Eternal Cam Nation stable of Fort Wayne, Indiana, trained by Jeff Miller and perfectly driven by Eric Ledford. Jugout winner from a year ago, Eternal Cam Nation scoring in a career best effort tonight in classic series action of 150 flat, and the results have been posted official. Standing by in the Meadowlands Winter Circle to make the trophy presentation, the man behind the Classic Series, Executive Director Nick Salvi. Nick will be presenting to the Eternal Cam Nation Connections. Ohio's Jeff Miller also trackside, along with winning driver Eric Ledford. Number 10, Eternal Cam Nation, pays 620, 440, 340. Second, number 6, Holding Court, 1840, 1280. And third, number 11, Walk on the Beach, 2140 to show. Exacta 10 and 6 pays 13860. Trifecta 10, 6, 11, 4873 even. A $1 Superfecta ticket, 10, 6, 11, 7, $8,127.20. And the pick three of 3210 pays 8940. The upcoming fifth race, the Classic Series Open Trot. There are no changes. Post time for the fifth race in 14 minutes. Exact to trifecta pick three wagering. No change. Last week at post 10, she was absolutely wonderful coming into the race. What about post 12 coming into the night's race and your strategy entering the race? Uh, it actually wasn't too terrible because I actually was in the second tier. Uh, I was out of bike going into the first turn, and that's, uh, that's pretty much where I figured I'd be as part of the whole mile. She closes, seems to love the track here. Uh, she's only raced here a couple times. What's the reason for that? Do we know? Well, uh, they, they tried to keep her away from here as much as possible last year, so uh, so hopefully she's here this year. Uh, just trying to keep her away from uh, a lot of speed last year, and uh, she done what she had to do. But uh, we raced her real hard late uh, in the year, but uh, we kept her away from here early last year. The fractions tonight worked to her advantage. Uh, yes and no. It really doesn't make her any difference. Uh, she can sprint with. Uh, just about uh, any mare in the country, but uh, I just needed to be close within uh, three or four, I thought, at the top of the stretch. This is as good as she's been? Yeah, it's, uh, it's as good as she's been except for on Jug Day. Jug Day, she was sensational. Okay, Eric for Jeff Miller, part owner, trainer, Colonel Cam Nation. Only 12 starts last year. What was the story there? 
Yeah, we had a lot of little problems early. Uh, we got ready really for the mass mistletoe chalet out here, and we decided to just give her a little while because we really pointed for the jugette, and it, so we, the only chance we had to come out here, we just skipped it. So uh, just a bunch of minor elements is what held her out. The two times we've seen her here uh, the last two weeks, she seems to love the 990-foot stretch. Uh, she seems like she was born to race in a mile track. Yeah, I think uh, we put four lumens on her last week, and uh, Eric uh, drove her pretty conservative and let her pace at the end of the mile. And I think she really likes the surface. I think she really likes the area, too. Will we see Cam Nation here in any other races this meet? Uh, yeah, we got her staked pretty extensively out here. Uh, for really the age of horses, this is the place to be. Okay, she's the second fast, she's actually the fastest daughter of Cam Fella and the second richest only behind Alimony from the final crop of Cam Fella. Eternal Cam Nation has taken the first classic race.